So welcome back to another quick video on Motorsport Manager. And what I thought I'd do is show you how to create the 2019 Formula One teams in the game. So you need to be in a save. You can't unfortunately do this globally. And I've checked with the developers and then not planning on adding a global edit. So unfortunately you can only edit the save that you're in. But if you fancy doing it and having a go and getting the real Formula One teams and drivers in, this is how you do it. So you go to standings in your career mode and then from the left hand side choose whatever series you want to edit. Now you might want to go to tier one which is the basically Formula One World Motorsport Championship. And again, can't edit the team names unfortunately. Uh, also checked and again no plans to allow that which is a real big shame but you can kind of work out who's who roughly and certainly from the colours of the teams but we'll start at the top so Scudera Rossini who are obviously Ferrari and what I'll do is I'll just go into each team's edit and then maybe if you want to edit the teams yourself you can just pause the video and match what I've done I've tried to get it as close as I can some of the the car designs and liveries and colours aren't exactly spot on, but it will give you a, a decent representation. So I'll just go through them. So here's Ferrari. And let's have a look at their team. There's the car. So we're on livery design one. Primary, secondary, tertiary are all those dark red colours with a black trim. And then Vettel and Leclerc. For some reason, Leclerc is coming up as Polish, which is quite odd. Let's change it. Oh, it's uh, Monaco, isn't it? Not Polish. He is French, but uh, obviously born in Monaco. So that's Scuderi Rossini and Kitano Motorsport, which who are McLaren, and this is McLaren's new design. Oh, McLaren's new design for this year. Probably, actually, it's more. More of a dark. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna make them orange. To be honest, it's hard to tell from the photos so far. I might update this when um, we get to the first game of the season. It's more of an off yellow, not quite as bright orange as their previous car, but it's also got some blue on it now. So that's McLaren, Carlos Sainz, and Lando Norris. And by the way, I loved the developers the the fake names that they had for some of these drivers like Lando Norris's fake name was something like oh, Lance Carizian and obviously a reference to Lando Carizian from Star Wars and there's little nods like that in some of the drivers names but anyway so Kitano Sport is McLaren Van Dort Racing is what used to be Force India and I'm now not quite sure what they're called but I don't think they're Force India anymore but here's their car, so let's have a look at the edit on that one. Again, very difficult car to edit exactly as they've got it in real life. They've got sort of a different shades of pink, not quite the same as that. With a sort of a blue fin at the top. Not perfect, but certainly better than the uh, the default in the game. It's on livery style 4. And drivers Lance Stroll and Sergio Perez. Rosetta Corsa should be able to quite obviously translate that to Toro Rosso. Daniel Kvyat and Alexander Albon, who I can only assume is the first Thai driver in Formula One, so that's quite cool. But let's have a look at the car. Not too bad of a representation. Livery 6. And it's more or less. A decent representation. The next up, Mersault Sport. Again, from the logo and the name, you can kind of hint that that's Renault. And we've got Daniel Ricciardo, his first season at Renault. So that should be really interesting. This looks like a really decent team. Ricciardo and Hulkenberg might be a couple to look out for. But here's their car. Again, Difficult to make exactly right, but it's very much black with yellow highlights this year, so 
it's kind of there, but the, the kind of the top of the car is more yellow along the, the nose cone, which you can't quite do with this editor, but if you can do better, please let me know below. Next up is the McNeil Racing Team. And these are Haas in the game. And Roman Grosjean, Kevin Magnussen. And there's their car. Not bad representation actually. It's very much all black this year with yellow sort of uh, pinstripes on it. So it's not too bad. Pretty close. Livery style 7 for that one. Now VLAN Racing is Sauber. Alfa Romeo Sauber team with Antonio Giovinazzi. Who might possibly be the closest looking edit <laughs> to his real life counterpart. In the game, although that Kimi Raikkonen's not too bad. Got to have the glasses for Kimi. Again, be interested to see how Kimi does at a new team. And again, it's not spot on this one, but really quite a nice representation of the Alfa Romeo car for this year. Certainly colour-wise as well. So quite pleased with how that one came out. Really, livery style seven, and that sort of red wine colour on the back of the white car. Okay, Steinman Motorsport, obviously Mercedes. We've got Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas. Not a bad representation of the car. The silver arrow. Got that nice green highlighting that they go for. So again, quite pleased with that. That's not exact. It's close. Now this was a, a really tricky one. This is the Panther Racing Team who are Red Bull. And this is a really tricky really tricky one to get right. I've tried to sort of give the yellow uh engine intake at the top to kind of represent the uh the ball from the Red Bull. It doesn't really work. It's not not one of my favourite edits. And again, if you can do a better job of uh, of editing the Red Bull car. And please let me know below and I'll um, I'll update mine. But I tinkered around with this one for quite a while and just couldn't get it anywhere near where I was happy with. But again, if you want to dive into a Formula 1 season, it might be a good starting block. Kate Windsor Racing. Uh, Williams, again, uh, one of the obvious ones from the name, the logo, the colours, quite obvious. Quite a decent Robert Kubitska. And George Russell, I think he's a, a rookie, but a, a Brit. It's good to see a Brit at Williams. Williams always historically one of my favourite teams. I was a big Nigel Mansell fan growing up. And uh, so for that fact, I used to love their car as well, the blue and yellow um, car. So I was always a big fan growing up. And that's not a bad representation. It's uh, not too bad at all, really. Pretty close. So that's it, back to Ferrari. So that's all the teams that have edited in the game. I may well go through and edit some of the other series. There's some other open wheels, open wheel series here. Let's have a look if we can find one. So I believe these are in our division. These are the, the Stonebridge team in our tier one. All of these are sports cars. So here we've got the Asia Pacific Cup. They're an open wheel team. I'm considering changing that to the current IndyCar teams. Possibly. Flick for a few of their teams there. I've not edited anyone else yet. And this European racing, either going to be Formula 2 or Formula E. I'm not sure yet. Probably go with Formula 2. And obviously, we've got our back to our tier 4 teams. So I hope they helped. As I say, you can pause the video if you want to start working on the edits. Uh, again, it's just a shame that they don't work globally, so you can have them in the quick races. But at least you can tinker around a little bit and get a, a close representation of this year's Formula 1. So again, if you 
have a go at these edits yourself if you've got any better ones again share them below in the comments we'd love to have a look at them and you know if they're better than mine i'll update mine no problem at all or if you need any more help on on editing just give us a shout as well and i'll try and help out but until then i will be busy working on the second of our career videos the first one went up today if you have a look at the channel we've got the first episode of switched on racing and as i say second episode should be coming in the next day or two so keep an eye out for that. But until then, I will catch you guys later. Thanks a lot and see you soon. Bye.